Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to this unbelievable player review with me, your boy FIFA 1 HD. We are going to be looking at the 81 rated rapid Muriel card. But before we do, it would mean a great deal to me if you would hammer that like button below if you do enjoy the video. If you have any questions on this card or FIFA 17 in general, leave that all in the comments. It really does mean a lot when you guys interact with the video, ask me questions. I love answering all of them for you. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It really does help me out an awful great big deal so let's jump into the stats and as you will see there's some really nice stats in here obviously centered around pace he's so so quick he's got great acceleration great sprint speed he's also got decent strength there at 74 that's not too bad tap positioning quite nice there at 82 we move on and you'll see ball control is very very good indeed as he is dribbling Finishing not too bad there at 78, nothing amazing but not too bad, long shot 76, shot power quite tasty there at 84, penalties at 80 as well and volleys at 75, also got 4 star skills and 4 star uh, weak foot which is always nice, high low work rates as well and we also have the speedster uh, speciality, dribbler and flair which are always good so let's get into the main block of the review. So my thoughts on the 81 rated in for Muriel were that he was a really good player to use. I mean, he is almost like the uh, Serie A sort of in form grey type card where he's got ridiculous pace, good finishing, but he's got even better dribbling than grey, which is really, really nice. Doesn't quite have the same sort of strength. But he's a very similar sort of card too. If you enjoyed using him from Grey, you are going to love this one too. I mean, Muriel has always been rapid and that continues. He has cut lightning quick pace, always making really good runs. The question with his runs, which I'll come to as a con later on in the video, is that sometimes he does hold back a little bit. Maybe when he's playing a 1-2, he won't then make the run after he's played the ball, which is a little bit annoying. And that does happen on occasion, but normally... He makes fantastic runs and he creates a lot of chances. He has a tendency a little bit to drift wide on occasion. But what's good is he's got so much pace and he's also got the dribbling technique and the four star skills where you can really easily work it into a shooting chance. So his pace is fantastic and because of that you will get a lot of chances with him. He may not score every single one but because he's always getting those chances, he's always getting in behind you will create an awful lot in the game. So you might score two or three of the five that you create. And that isn't a pretty bad conversion ratio, in my opinion. I think that's pretty good. And for what is a relatively cheap inform card that's got some really good stats, I think it's pretty good value for money. So his finishing, like I said, is pretty neat and tidy. You know, he hasn't got the best in-game finishing stats by any means. There's a lot more informs that have got way better finishing. You know, so overall it's quite good and it's very effective. Like I said, there's, there'll be the odd one or two here and there that he might hit right at the goalkeeper or might just go a little bit wide. But overall, he is scoring a fair few of those shots. And that's exactly why you're having him in the team. And he's definitely got it in his locker to score some absolute worldies. So he has got that ability. He's also got the dribbling to make those chances, as I said earlier. His ball control, his agility is so, so good. He's also got a decent little bit of strength there. You know, uh, he can hold a challenge, which is always good on a pacey striker. I mean, he's not ridiculous in that department, but he, he can hold his own, which is always good. And uh, his dribbling skills, like I said, absolutely brilliant when he does work himself wide with his running you can always get back inside and it's so easy whether you're a skiller you're good at dribbling or not it's just easy to jink your way past players with this guy and create those opportunities to score everything else is neat and tidy i mean he's not going to score you many headers he hasn't got the height or the the sort of presence to be a hold up player but if you like using quick strikers i think you're going to absolutely love him his price is currently going for around sort of 60 to 70, 75k at the moment, which I think is an absolute bargain. He's well worth the coins. That's why I had to give him 8.5 out of 10 because he's got so many good things going for him and he is a very, very attacking player. There are the other areas where his stamina uh, does play a part. He will get tired quite quick. 
so if you do go into extra time or you maybe need a you know a few more fitness cards on him in between games those are things you might need to consider but overall a very good player to use it's well worth going out and purchasing so i hope you enjoyed the video guys if you did please hit that like button hit the subscribe and peace